Greetings everyone, my name is Alterion and welcome. Hope you're having a lovely day, hope you're having a wonderful day. I wish you a very good day if your day is just beginning. And I hope we can make it just that little bit better with this wonderful indie game called Spirit Spiritfarer. We are a spirit ferrer, so we are helping um, the spirits uh, into the afterlife. We are uh, accompanying on their last few days. It should not be a sad game. No, in the opposite, it should be a very heartwarming game. It should be a lot of cute stuff, a lot of, a lot of beautiful stuff. Um, but that's something we will have to discover together. We're going to do the full story because we have the Farewell Edition. Uh, it has some extra DLCs with a lot of extra content. And I think we are going to have a lot of hugging because that's what I read. You can hug a lot of stuff. You want to do a single player mode because you have co-op as well. But I don't have any buddy buddy with me. Oh, that's already a very beautiful art style. I like that. And that's a big guy. That's a big guy. Very big guy. Oh, we've got a kitten as well. On a small word of warning, I'm gonna do a little bit of voice acting. Because I'm kind of into that. I kind of like it. I kind of do my very best to try to improve it. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, he's, he, he, he had real deep voice there. So it's probably something like... Oh, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic would that have been, would it not? I'm Charon. The Spirit Fairer. Epic. Is that a very epic staff? Well, that is what I have been until you arrived. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Wonderful. And Stella has a wonderful big hat. That's awesome. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What is his name? Oh, Daffodil! Oh, awesome, he speaks very... I cannot copy that voice, but I do my, I do my very best. Uh, okay, Stella and Daffodil, that's cool. I see. You two will share the burden, then, and take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And this is where you are here. You will be the new spirit farer. Your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't boss away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last request, and be at their service until their last breath. Guys, the art style is beautiful, wonderful, amazing. The big, round bridge over there is the Everdoor. The Alpha where everything starts, and the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give to you. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, wait, what are you? What is that kitten doing? How oh, highly inappropriate. Oh, the kitten just found the ball there. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. Oh, wow.
Oh, Stella, she just looks so joyful. She has that energetic face. Ah, she looks like she's a very fun person. Maybe a little bit too energetic for me. Hope is a flame. The light that never falters. The beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one, Stella. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I understand. I was overwhelmed too, at first. I just try to keep your focus, okay? Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit farers, after all. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here. You keep rowing in the right direction for some time at least. Hmm, probably. It is time. Here I go. Good luck, Stella. You will need it. Wow. That's a cool way to go. Oh, the Everlight can transform into something. Wow. Wow, that's nice. Oh, the loading the, the loading icon is a little kitty. Oh, that's lovely. What do we do? We can move. Ooh, the boat. Can we jump into the water? We can. Oh, we can swim as well. Okay, that's just good to know. I just needed to know. So I probably would be falling down. This looks so good. And we have a very first spirit over there on the roof. Press the space bar. Press space bar. Hold it. Jump higher. Okay. Okay, we can jump. I guess it's E to interact. Stella! It's really you! Stand up straight and let me get a good look at you! You look so good! And Daffodil is here too, I see! We'll have to find the lint roller then. Oh, it might not be that obvious after all. It's me, Gwen! Good thing you found me. But if you're the one here, it means... Oh, you are the new spirit fairer. You are the one replacing Charon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on a disgusting island for a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Ugh. Mm. Uh, funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have the Everlight now. Of course, of course. See that boat over there? That's not a boat, that's a giant Titanic almost. Wow. That's the one. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it, shall we? I'd wager it still works since you're the spirit fairer. Okay, meet me over on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. I'm coming, I'm coming. Can we run? Okay, we can... Okay, we can jump quite high, we can. Wow, nice! Oh, that's cool! Oh, so this is our ship. That's an epic ship. What is this? Can, can we interact with something? Get a bell? It's loud. Oh, but what a mess. What a mess. <gasps> we can sit over... Oh, we're petting the kitty! Daffodil. Daffodil. What does that mean? What does that mean? I need I need to look it up now. What does daffodil mean? That has a meaning. What does it mean? Daffodil. 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 Oh, daffodil is a plant. Okay, that's like a yellow flower. Ooh, okay. I understand now. Is, is it because he has those yellow ears? <gasps> there we go. Our very first pet. Oh, a lot of huggies. This is going to be a very good hugging game. Yeah, a lot more huggings. Yeah, I like huggings. Nice. Okay, let's go talk to Gwen. Okay, here goes. 
Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Oh. Oh. Wonderful. But that's it. She looks like she's uh, from the bourgeoisie. Oh, and she even has a cigarette. Uh, wow. What a... What an... What an air. Wonderful. I'm not the one to jump for joy for this, but oh, this it feels so good. I'm no, I'm, 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 I'm practically obligated to give her that much better than I anticipated French accent. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is now yours. <laughs> Don't you think? Good, good. And as you are the new spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. <laughs> and once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Oh yeah, huggies! Let's go! Okay, so this is like some sort of mini simulator with a lot of um, micro transactions. A lot, a lot of uh, mini transactions. Food, hook. Oh. Much better. Okay, come with me now. Let's take a good look at this chaos. Stella is just overly cheerful, overly joyful little girl. Or I don't know if she's little, but she she looks very joyful. What a mess. Oh, she does not look happy. <laughs> Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful and organized statement to someone's laziness. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will come back. <laughs> um, let me think. There is only one that can clean this mess up. You have to meet Albert. He is our local shipwright, and he chokes our garbage, but he is the only one who can fix your boat. We, we should be able to head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Well, it's actually really, really easy. There, uh, let me give it to you. The key I found on the island. It will unlock the cabin on the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very, mm -hmm. very meticulously. Go, open up mm -hmm. the cabin, Stella. Okay, I will do that. We've got the key. We've got the cabin. Press tab to review active requests. Start your boat. Okay. I guess this mechanical thing looks like a projector. Alt Harbor, that's where we are now. And the map. Cool, I like that. This is the Everdoor. What is this? That's weird. What is this darkness? Thunderstorm, resources, lightning in the bottle. <gasps> okay, so we have a little... Seems more like a halfway open world... In the RPG travel games, ah, a lot of a lot of stuff. Stella, mm. as I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it sir. That's how it cruises the ocean and re reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything mm. myself. You must admit it's quite fascinating, huh? Look, I know you must feel very overwhelmed. Charon, the Everdoor, the Spirit Ferris displays the boat, me being here especially. I know it's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Actually, it is quite a lot of information. I, I do agree on that. It's, it's quite a lot. We've got a lot of stuff we can do. We've got a lot of stuff we must do. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you, Stella. I'll do my very best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I earlier said, I want to leave... Uh, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. You can even give a fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Where's the fishing rod? Is that the thing at the back that we tried at the beginning? It is! Oh, awesome! Now we've got the top left corner, some sort of moving um, indicator. While we're traveling, and the top right... Hold E. And in the top right, we have a day-night clock cycle. We've got a hearing. Good job, Stella. Let's do one more. 
Or the fish or the cat must be really looking for these fishies. Very hungry cat. Do we need to feed the cat? Do we need to f do we need to feed daffodil? I think daffodil wants some fishies. Let's do, let's do a couple more. We still got time before we arrive. Let's do th three fishies if we can. Three fishies. Three very big fishies. Let's go. It's a good thing it's not difficult because I'm not very good at fishing stuff. Okay, we can jump on roofs. That's nice. Can we do sliding smooth? Ooh, what is this pillar? Ooh, that looks quite... Oh, I guess we must have reached the harbor. Ooh, nice. Well, that does not look like a harbor. That actually looks more like a ship graveyard. But let's go with the, with the harbor thing, okay? I must say, up until now, I am already amazed by just the beautifulness of this, of this, of this whole experience. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade the blueprint station. It's the only way uh, to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dust and dirt. <sighs> got to use the ship. We've got to use the ship. And we've got our magical Everlight that can transform into anything we like. Oh, that's a real shark. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are my customer's best friend. <laughs> I am Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Did I assume that you are the new spirit fair, milady? Well, of course you are. Anyways, you've been able to start a ship and bring it all the way here. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! <laughs> Let me see what you have here. Nice little dang, eh? Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored it in my old shipyard. See, Charon wasn't happy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always up complaining about everything. But on a side note, customers is always right. So I built him a newer one, you know? Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this alone, okay? And let me tell you something, you know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry about it, we're still working on it. Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since your lucky day and I'm feeling very generous, I'll offer it to you, especially. Free of charge, that that. Mind you, just a little bit bare bones in terms of functionality, though. But the subsequent upgrades will come at you at a very small price. You'll want to buy them almost immediately, I can assure you that. Just simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Okay. Upgrade the ship. We've got a lot of stuff we've got. Upgrades. We've got... What do we get? We get greenhouse, garden, fields. Uh, see, we have no coins or whatever the currency is here. Then we've got sawmill, loom. Oh, we can build so much. Boat size. Medium, large, massive, giant, mighty, immense, colossus. What the hell? Boat improvements. I say, um, what is this? We can build so much stuff. But I guess let's just start with the beginner stuff, shall we? Escape back. There you go. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Remember that. Come back when you feel the boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Uh, that's done, I guess. And I guess we turn back. We're back! Oh, good, 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 amazing! Albert gave it to you for free? And he said he loaned the ship to you. Hmm, how very, very ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but doesn't sound really reassuring, doesn't it? Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this desk. You can go to your blueprint table above your cabin and select move option. In it you'll be able to remove on the buildings and get back resources. Go for it. Uh huh. Above the cabin, that's probably this thing. Uh it is. 
select earth salvage we get maple lock i'm gonna move my cursor because we apparently don't really need it maple lock empty bottles old shoes carpet why not uh looks clean there we go the rubble is gone you did a very wonderful job stella and the good news is that you have guest res and that the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship Unnecessary amenity. <laughs> Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in here. But, but it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it to you. Have fun. I guess we go back to building. Build. Uh, two. Guest house. Ooh, nice. Okay, we can only build in this square. Can we go? <gasps> we can even go up. Wow. Are we going to build it like up here? I know it doesn't look good right now, but I I know I, I got the feeling that the guest house must be must be overlooking everything. I th I, th I think it must be quite high. Otherwise, you, you don't see nothing from here. Like the, the, the front of the ship blocks all the sight. Maybe we can make it... Can we... How large is this? Like one, two, three, four, five tiles high. One, two... Whoops. One, two, three... Wow, that goes too fast. One, two, three, four, five... Five tiles. Hmm. Now let's make it at the bottom. Because I don't know if we can... Oh, maybe we can move stuff later on. So let's build it at the bottom. We will see. We will see after. Let's see. Move. Can we? Oh, we can. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. If we can move everything, that's perfect. That means we do not need to worry about how we build it now. We can always make it more beautiful uh, as we move, of course, as we progress on. Look at these parasols at the back. Cranes. This does look lovely. This guest house is actually very pretty. <laughs> it has your touch, definitely. Nice work, as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, oh and just... Oh, wait, uh, what's going on? Something else is happening. Ah, mm. oh, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Mm. Very, very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am? But I remember you're being actually fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire fish raw. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on a fish bone and never survive. That's not what you want me to go. As absurd as it sounds. So you should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn, you require bright jelly. And there is only one way to get some. I... Look, I should have... I should have told you when I first met you here. Uh, sometimes, something scares the hell out of me here. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that shallows all, light including. And I can take many forms, and for me... It's always the jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellies can provide it to you. So, there's no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They all appear in the dark patch of pure fear on your map. So you can't miss it. Go. It'll take some time to prepare myself. So this whole world is interactive depending on on the spirits or so. Let's see. Oh. What is this train icon, I wonder? Hmm. These are crates resources. Whoops. Crates resources as well. And I guess this must be the darkness. The jellyfish. Well, I guess let's go. Okay. 
I guess everything moves on its own. Can we do fishies? Oh, we can. Let's see what we can catch at night. At the harbor. I don't think that's the best way to do fishies. Oh, but we still caught something. Nice. Uh, well, let's, just go, let's just go keep on fishing a little bit. It's too dark to navigate. It will be possible again at the dawn. Oh. oh, we stopped. We stopped moving. Okay. Then I guess no more fishies. What does Gwen has to tell us? Mm. Oh, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. Mm. As you can see, this boat has stopped at night. I believe it is a side effect of your Everlight. Well, being a light. Or some other technicality, of course, but that being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle and finish business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in a cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that... You know me. Waking up on time has never been my forte. You can ring that bell over there to wake people up. And remember, only do it at the right time. Early mornings should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. You as well, Gwen. Sleep tight. Have good dreams. Let's go inside. What a lovely, lovely cabin. One, two, three, four. She has four alarms. Or the cabin has four. Sleep until morning. Yeah. Oh, with the kitty, with Daffodil. Daffodil is joining us. That's a pretty good start so far. Yeah. It's still early, but the, it's the clock time. Oh, some stretchings. Press Z to tolerate the clock trajectory spell. No, no, I want to have it on. I want to have it on. Let's go and do ding -a ling -a ling Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Stella. Good morning. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. It definitely is a shark. With his interest in all things Morgi time will be helpful. It's just about to upgrade his cells. At an outrageous price, though. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in other worlds, in this world. They look like classic mythical match challenges again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Okay, is there anything you need? Yes, you need something, you're hungry. But I cannot give you anything, because, ah, uh, you, you... Oh no, we are here. Damn, here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with the bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That's it, pop as many as you can. You'll get glimpses anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I'll believe in you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. This looks ominous indeed. What do I do? Oh. Oh, do do. I just need to pop. The I just need to stand still. That's nice. That's nice. That's good. There's a big one. Oh, can we get on the roof? <gasps> we can. Can we get higher? No, we cannot. We cannot get higher. Oh, but that's nice. So that's how we get those. That's the currency. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need to run back. Come up, Stella. Run faster. Run faster. We need to get up here. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, nice. She can do cool jumps. Oh, she's an, uh, she's an acrobat. That's awesome. Oh, no. That's difficult. The big one. We need to get the big one. Yes. Where is the jelly? Where is the jelly? The one uh, the glowing. It's coming. I can sense it. I sense its presence. Pop everything. This one we need. Yeah. Salto flip. Cool. I like it. Got another one. It's a little bit lower. Or is it not lower? Is it is it is it coming? Is it coming up higher? Oh, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. I want yeah, take as many as we can, because we probably can use it. Ooh, almost forgot that one. The most necessary one. Oh, my jumping skills are not the best. But we're doing a good job. And the big one. I don't see any more coming. No, that's it. Ooh. That was something, wasn't it? We passed it. It's like really a spot at the storm. 
Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Uh, tumbling and diving like a shooting star. Without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. Look at how happy Stella is. Just look at her. She has like joy in her eyes. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jellies to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. Let's go build. Okay, so we may not ring the bell for Fonzies anymore. That's too bad. Uh, field. Garden. Kitchen. Oh, it transforms. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. But you know, let's keep... Um, how large... How large are these stuff? Because, for example, if I want to build it over here... Anyways, we can move it, so that's actually not a big of a problem. Yeah. That's cool. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for me to wait for it to be cooked. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pockets. Can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, so this is... Whoops, get back outside. I'm sorry. Um, you've always cared so damn much about others. You always protected those find you found vulnerable. Even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? Well, we just got out of the elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags. And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was red. Okay, let's go inside. Uh, recipes. We have nothing discovered, which is normal. We can cook a little bit of corn. Can we do everything at one? We can do five items. I guess cook. Oh, and there's a timer on the wall. Okay, so we just need to wait it out. That's uh, that's not, 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 not too bad. Tiring. Wow, the Everlight transforms into mittens. That's cool. Okay, can we cook the fishies? All five of them. Oh, that does not go quite fast, but um, I guess we can at least give her a little bit of snack, you know, like an appetizer, some popcorn. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Okay, food. You can get popcorn. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine or water. We need a good meal once in a while. And it will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky, I can eat anything. Just never just never the same thing twice. I think we need to write this down. Or maybe we, we can see it in her status. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give to you. I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but this... An, an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay to you. But something tells me you already knew that. Okay, let's keep on moving with the craft. As you have seen in your blueprint table, there's a both. There is a both. There is a both a field. Oh, well, excuse me. There is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many th different things. And it turns the ships into an adorable farm of some sorts. Uh, you should add your field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for the round here, and you can grow linen in it, which in turn can be used to craft more things. In addition to build a field, we also need to go buy seeds, mm -hmm. but that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by, it's called a Mostine Cove, and there's something we need on it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay, one second, I need to see your mood. Comfort, f okay, we have our favorite food, likes, we don't have dislikes yet, um, she's quite okay -ish. She hasn't had any hug yet. Yeah, you need a hug, because you haven't had one recently. Aww. Thank you. Now she's feeling very good. Very, very good. Her food is okay. We don't need to give it anymore. Um, we've got a new mission. How is the timer? Okay. Let's see. We have an inventory. 
Yeah. We got a couple of keys. Old shoe, carpet, some bright jelly, some bottles, some popcorn. Okay. What are our missions? Requests. Head to Mossenstein. Upgrades. That's what we can do. Shenanigans. Ooh. Fish is almost done. Almost. But, 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 but. Let's see if we can navigate. But at the same time, if we can navigate through stuff like these. Oh, seats. Crates. Maybe... Maybe we can do that later. I see those things don't disappear. So let's just go straight towards uh, the Muslim cave, shall we? There we go. Course set. And it's going to become evening very soon. Food is almost done. She's chilling. We are chilling. Oh, I think we did a good job. How peaceful. Got a little bit of dirt here and there on the ship. Oh, she's playing with her Everlight. Like it's some sort of yo-yo. Wow, that girl is very uh, dexterous or uh, handy. Oh, let's see how this one looks inside. We haven't been here yet. Ooh, a couch to chill. Aww, cute. Oh, that's a picture of her and the cat on the wall. Nice. Uh, let's see, how's the food going? Oh, it's done, it's done. Oh, hopefully we didn't burn it. No, that actually... Was it okay? Oh, no, it was not okay. Did I... Did I got it out of there just that little bit too fast? Oh, no, I'm an idiot. Okay, anyways. Um, let's do it again. <laughs> Whoops. I still, be, still have a little bit of time. Let's go catch another fishies. We can do that. Whee! Maybe there's something else we can get from the water. You know, oh, we are almost there. Oh, we are there. Quickly, get the fishies, get the fishies, get the fishies. Yes, we got the fishies. Mossenstein Cove discovered. Looks like a beautiful island. Oh, okay. Look at that. We should hop on this island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Okay, let's go. But I, you know, before we want to go, I just want to wait out this thing, you know? Because I don't want to leave a burning oven on a wooden ship that looks like it's about to sink. So I'm going to wait out until, until the fish is gone. And then we're going to descend. Almost done. Okay. That's done. Can we leave it at that? Or not? Aha, uh -huh, there is a sign that it's ready. Okay, I don't see anything that dangerous happening, so probably no. Oh, there we go, grilled fish. New recipe. Um, recipes. That's a popcorn, it's a meal-sized snack. Type of dish comfort. Okay, so that's the favorite food of Gwen. And this is dish plain, just fish. Okay, uh, does Gwen want to go sleep? No, she does not want to go sleep, but okay. Let's go. Let's go there by night. Discover the island. Ooh. But their everlight just always shines. What is this? <gasps> Medium glim bottle. Oh, cool. That's awesome. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine. I promise. It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting talk about the Everlight. Okay, so the Everlight... Whoa! Oh, that's so funny! <laughs> oh, look at the... <laughs> look at the kitty! <laughs> oh, look at the kitty! <laughs> She's not doing anything! <laughs> She's just hanging there. Oh, Daffodil! Oh, careful! Oh, that was so funny! <laughs> Congratulations! For you have become death to destroy your worlds! Aww, oh, that was a bad joke. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. You can go on ahead, cutting down more trees. 
Then we can go back on the boat and build a field with all those maple legs. Logs. It'll be next to the raft. Okay. Oh. More raspberries. Okay, so we need to... I think we actually must go around the whole planet, the whole world. And start collecting a lot of stuff. So probably once we are visiting a location, I think we should do our very best to collect as much as we can. Oh, but it's so funny that Daffodil doesn't just hangs there. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, cutie pie. <gasps> okay. Okay. Oh, we can even... Hold the as long Oh wow, well you not you not ready used to that power. Wow. Okay. Nice limestone. That's so cool guys. I'm so amazed by all the possibilities you have here. Okay, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's actually very interesting that you can do all those cool stuff. Was that the kitten? Ooh, what a jump. Come on, Daffodil, let's go back to Gwen. I think I've collected everything we need. Oh, we can jump down and up. Anything here to collect? J just... <gasps> Is Daffodil? Daffodil! Oh, look at him! Look at his ears going back, and he's swimming on that little ball. Ah, oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. What a cutie pie. Aha, uh -huh, there's a sign here. Tree sign, so it's okay. It's okay. Um, are you hungry? Hmm. It is a snack. Meal size snack. But let's give you this. Oh, thanks, I love it. Let's see. She does not dislike it, so that's okay. And she was hugged recently, but you know who wasn't hugged recently? Yes, a little daffodil. Yes, you haven't been hugged yet. Yes. Good. There we go. I think we've got everything we need. It's too dark to navigate. Yes. Uh, I think she went to sleep, I guess. Yeah, she's she's there. She's sleeping. That's good. Um, anything we can put in the oven. Anything we can cook. Recipes. Not have anything special. But let's put one of these inside, see what it will do. While in the meantime, we go and see what we can build. Uh, we have enough for the fields. We Ooh, the fields. Yeah, um, I think let's build the fields on the top floor. So the rain and the sun comes, comes easily without any problems. We don't have any map, maple lock for the garden. We've got nothing else. So I guess that's that. Still have no seeds yet. Oh, we can rearrange this everything in the future. Okay, that's something to work. Aha, uh -huh, green seeds. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Uh, one second, how do I get out of this menu? Oh, like this. Okay, I get it. Good. This is almost done. Let's see what the berries have become in the oven. Let's see. Very curious. What kind of dishes we have done? Poach fruit. Okay. Okay. Can we put one of these? And one of these? No, we cannot. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, no. Stop, 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 stop. Let's get them out of here. I didn't want to cook that. Uh, what can we do with maple lock? Because there is also an option to put maple lock inside. What do we do? What happens if we put this inside? Sweet out. I think we can go sleep as well. Let's see what happens if we sleep while we leave something in the oven. Hopefully the ship won't burn down. Okay, the ship is becoming more and more interesting. I love it. Oh, there was a ping. Was a ping. Hopefully ship is okay. Oh, it started moving again, the boat. Yeah. It rises and it works with the sun. It's green energy. Okay, what have we done with just a log? Gold. Oh, cool. Interesting, of course. That's actually quite logic. Okay, not to forget to wake everybody up. Good morning. Okay, I'll follow you up. 
that's indeed the place where we need to be. Oh, it's better looking than I thought. There is still a je ne sais quoi to it. I knew she was French. Simple, but elegant. Now, all you have to do is plant uh, field seeds in here. Seeds can grow only in their respective place. Garden seeds won't grow in the field. So don't bother trying. Do you know me? I would kill a plastic cactus. So don't take my word on this. Anyway, there is only one place where we could possibly find seeds. Theodorize specializes in seeds. Theodore. He has set up shop in the Hummingburg, uh, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has serious problems and dubious business practices. <laughs> Since I don't want to be get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into cheeky little raccoons once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingburg then. Okay, let's see. Because I know... The thing is, we have seen on this little map that we have uh, crates everywhere. Yes, we have them. But um, my guess is that we are more or less in a tutorial-like situation, so I don't really want to go here yet. We can always go back, we can always go back, so that's no problem, because we also need those lightning bottles from the thunderstorm. But I think, guys, that that is something that we'll leave for the next episode. I'm quite pleased with how this game is up until now. Very cute, very happy. Let's finish up with... Let's finish up with a nice hug. Yeah, some huggies. <gasps> Did we give uh, Gwen a hug already? It's morning. Gwen, how are you doing? You need a hug? You need... Yeah, I think you need a hug. Oh, no, you don't need it. Okay. Anyways, we'll give you a hug tomorrow. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a comment down below. Share your thoughts with me. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Help the channel grow, guys. We are currently at 45 subscribers, which is very good. Very amazing. Thank you very much. So, And I will see you next episode. Have a good day, everyone.